Hello, my name is Chris Swan, and today I will be transferring files from Ableton to Logic Pro X. So let's start from the beginning, okay? So the beginning, so um, the producer and I decided that um, I need to use some of my plugins for this track, for these tracks that we're, you know, we're working on. So I'm going to give it a go. And so I'm going to go to his email. Boom. Gmail open. Okay, I see it right there. Boom. Okay, so I see the zip file. The zip file is here. So I'm going to click it. Boom. All the tracks, all 26 tracks are there. So I'm going to download it. So there are no viruses. I know that. So I'm going to double click it. And it should come down here at the bottom. Oops, it didn't. So let's try it again. Oh, there you go. Boom. Okay. So in the meantime, like I said, I'm going from Ableton to Logic Pro X. And this is for me so I can manipulate because we were coming from a studio that um, he was mostly um, a lot of programming. And I came in with a few instruments. And so when I came in with the instruments, I didn't have the amplifiers or, you know, my pedals and all that stuff. So we just, it was like, we're just trying to see if we can do this. If we can do this um, on my end, that means I can finish this album. But right now I'm working on the single, so it's done. So I'm going to open up the zip file. Boom. It's expanding. Remember, you have to expand the zip file. So when it expands, you're going to see all the files. And all the files should be WAV files. So let's check it out. So I'm going to open it up right now. Yes, they are WAVs. So this is a pretty big file, you know, 25, no, 26 WAV files. So I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to open up Logic Pro X. So I opened it up. I'm gonna open up a new one. Boom. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna create a new track. I'm gonna expand, maximize the screen. So it, this is a trick. So this is what we do. Most of the times you can go to the file, go to import, boom, audio files. So here they are right there I didn't have to search so when I clicked it I want to I want to I want to transport them all at the same time so I'm gonna hit shift oh it doesn't do it so I'm gonna click the one so the one track is going in but I don't want to do that I want to get all the tracks at one time because I'm a beast here we go boom all right let's do this Minimize that. Okay, here are the so here are the tracks right here that came from a zip file. Appleton. I mean, sorry, Ableton. Copy them all. See that? Then we we'll just put them into the player. Boom. Create new tracks. Okay. There you go. Boom. And in the meantime. It's downloading or it's creating the overview for each track. So this is going to take like probably three minutes. Like I said, I'm going from Ableton to Logic Pro X. Um, once I get the tracks into Logic X, what I have, I have like um, a signature sound when I play out. And um, Logic has that sound that I like, you know, that Ampeg raw um, bass sound. So um, I have a couple plugins that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna send my bass through. Um, also with the guitar, there's a couple of amps that um, my boy Doc told me to, um, I can pick out. So I'm gonna pick those out and throw it on them and listen to them, see what it sounds like. And, um, and in the meantime, the goal today is just to get the tracks in the Logic Pro X. Oh, let me show you what some of my stuff since we got time. Let's 
see, I, I'm this bass guitar right here. It's a it's BC Rich. Um, everybody says the Mockingbird. Yes, it's the Mockingbird style, but this is custom. It took me six months to get this. I ordered it fresh. It's a single body, 1984. Cost a grip. Um, first owner is me, always the owner. So yeah, so it took me six months to get this and this is back in the day, so I still have it. I took good care of it. I mean, I beat it up to death, but I'm, I'm gonna do a fret job on it here shortly. But I, I love this bass and but this is the one I use in the studio. And we're just going straight from the bass into the um into his into my partner's rig. So I didn't have the ampeg. So I'm gonna put this back on the wall. Some of you artists might have more tracks than that. You might have 50. You know, if you're doing orchestrated stuff, you can still um, import those files the same way. Um, it might take a little longer. Um, some of you guys might have just a stereo track and a vocal track. You know, that's three tracks, so it won't take as long. So, you know, you think about that prep up before everyone comes into the you know, studio. But right now, it's just me. I'm at home. So I'm having a good old time. It's going to take a little while. Still on the guitar. Guitar is right here. Let me let me make this small. Boom. So guitar is right here. So we're almost there. So I hope you're getting an idea to this. So if you have Logic Pro, um, which is good, you can pretty much. Um, I just know Ableton, maybe, um, yeah, um, not Final Cut, oh man, uh, I can't even think of it now. Wow, boop, 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 boop. But so right now, I'm just going from Ableton to Logic Pro, but there's a lot of other softwares out there, you can do the same thing, and I can do the, I can send my files from here back to Ableton, so they can manipulate the, um, the overall mix. And yeah, so, um, We'll sit here and, and and just see what happens. So right now is that guitar. So guitar is right here. So we have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more tracks left. And so it take roughly what? 11 seconds. So I'm pretty stoked right now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so I'm um, be you like the video, just tell me you like it. Um, subscribe to me, um, Chris Swan Music. You can hit me, Chris Swan Music website, Chris Swan Music Facebook, um, Instagram also. And you can see what I do with the bass and with the band. I've been doing all kind of experimental kind of music. Um, you can hit me up on Spotify as well. Um, I have a couple singles, uh, albums and stuff. And um, I write music for extreme sports, um, movies soundtracks that's my thing okay big will keep on turning in oh yeah and also um before covid kicked in um i started my new label called jill i have five i have nine artists but it's a music compilation here in um southern california um so nine artists, we all agreed. Um, my attorney put the contract together. We all agreed. And now it's out. So make sure you go to thecalifornia101.com and get your um, your album today. Thecalifornia.com. Thecalifornia101.com. All right, so we're almost there. Ableton to Logic Pro X. Okay, it's there. So this is the... This is the test to make sure that everything is working. I'm gonna turn the click track. I'm gonna turn the click off. Okay, oh yeah. I got some reverse stuff going on. So yeah, 
So I'm going to work on the guitars and the bass. I'm going to grind them out. So yeah, so it worked. Yeah, we transferred them. Ableton to Logic Pro X. Thanks for working, you know, hearing this today. And if you like it, subscribe to me. And part two is coming up next. How to manipulate the sounds. Thank you.